one more weekend in the city. I'm back and this week we are talking about Code with Classy, but that is because applications just launched. So I wanna convince everybody on the face of this planet, as long as you are between the ages of 13 and 18 and identify as female or non-binary to apply because it changed my life, I swear, I swear to you, not to be lame. I don't know, it changed the trajectory of my whole entire life, so I have to at least try my best to convince every single freaking person on the planet to apply. I wanted to just tell you about, um, a little bit about like my history with the program. I first applied in, I don't know, I was, a sophomore in, in high school so i feel like it was 2017. i was just in my room it was really impulsive because i had forgot about the deadline as i always do and it, this was like the second deadline i think and i quickly created this video in my room answering like the different questions and i was like whatever i'm just gonna send it like i don't even think i'm gonna get in but like i'll just do it whatever yolo and I had also applied for Girls Who Code that year, so I wanted to, I knew I wanted to be in an all-girls coding program. I had a little bit of experience with coding because I had been doing an engineering camp since I was freaking so little, like fourth, fifth grade. So I was like, I really want to code. I only have a little bit of experience, but you know what, let me apply and let me just try it out. And I applied and then a couple of months later, I found out I got in and I literally was freaking out. My experience will be a little bit different than the experience of scholars last summer and the experience of scholars this summer because it's 100% virtual. But when I was at camp, I had a lot of nerves. I was really nervous on the first day and I think that that's something that carries over whether you're in person or virtual. But like everyone was so nice from Jump and we worked on like the cutest little projects, projects that are so different from like what we traditionally work on in school or just in classes. It was just everything was fun and we focused as much on like the coding as we did on design and creating concepts for social good so it was all things I was very much interested in I was just excited every day I was like Ugh, I can't wait to see what we do next and it was even more fun to be excited about just like seeing speakers and having lunch with my friends and playing games and brain breaks and stuff like that like I was excited about every single aspect of camp not even just the coding or just not even just creating something that I could call my own that I coded 100% by myself and 100% with my friends but also just getting life advice career advice and making bonds that I still talk to my friends like that I made in camp to this day so just like the amazing friendships and bonds that I created was also amazing. The first year that I did it, I did um, web dev. And I only had a little experience in web dev beforehand. Technically, you're supposed to go in with no experience, I think, but I had like a little bit of experience, but I still learned so, 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 so much. And I was just so excited that I was really lucky and they made a mobile camp the next year and I applied and I got in and I did it again with my amazing friends and I can't stress enough how amazing the culture of Code with Glossy is during camp and even outside of camp but during camp you have two incredible instructors that will like help you answer any question you could possibly have and two incredible IAs that will be like your best friends. They will help you with all your code, but literally any question about like college and life and career, they will answer. And since they're closer in age to you guys, as scholars, you feel very comfortable with them. And I don't know, I got so close to my IAs and I still like catch up on everything that they're doing. After my two years in Code with Classy, I IA'd myself for a year in New Mexico, and it was one of the most amazing things I'd ever done in my life. I've never been to even that area of America before. So to be in Albuquerque and teaching these amazing young women how to code 
was incredible. And it just showed another side of the incredible Code with Classy community that there's actually a segue to technical work after completing the camp. I thought that was so cool. I was like, oh my gosh, I was just a scholar last year and now I'm being hired to teach other people how to code. Like, I thought that was amazing and I was so excited. And then for two years after that, I was an intern at Code with Classy HQ. So I got to see all the behind the scenes and the super hard work that it takes to put these camps on. Like you guys don't even know how much time and love and passion goes into making these programs amazing. And I definitely had quite the experience being a part of the Code of Classy team to see these camps run. And my first year interning, I even flew to one of the camps in Detroit and it was amazing to see like the work that I had done on my end back in New York kind of realize itself in a completely different state like that blew my mind and just to be able to connect with even more scholars from across the country was amazing because I stepped foot and I saw so many people that were like oh my gosh Alexis so many people that I had never even met like one of my absolute best friends I can say to this day Lydia Tan I walked in and I almost like cried. I had never met her before. And I was like, you are my favorite person on the entire planet. And that still rings true today. It kind of made me fully realize the magic of Code of Classy that I had such strong bonds with women from across the country over something as kind of unexpected as computer science and coding. It's amazing. So. With all of that kind of rambling being said, that's like my extra, extra, extra long elevator pitch of Code with Classy. I wanted to get into some of the questions you guys sent me about the program so I could see if I could try to convince more of you to apply and sign up and just clear up any questions you might have. So let's get into it. So one of the questions that I got a lot is, can I apply if I'm international, if I'm outside of the United States? And the answer is yes, because usually you can't, but a silver lining that we have been able to sort of find within the Code of Classy community um, through the COVID-19 pandemic is that we have a really great way of hosting the Code with Classy camps 100% virtual. And even though it's a much different experience than we ha have than we have had in previous years, it still is such an engaging and amazing community and course. I had never cried at a graduation ceremony um I, I code with classy ever but last summer something about the community we had created online just made me so emotional and i was a wreck i was crying so much so please believe me when i tell you it is just as amazing and connected and kind of a life-changing experience online as it is in person so don't let that deter you from applying it's gonna be amazing i i promise you so the next question i got frequently is can i apply if i have experience or is it just for beginners yes you can apply if you have some experience because we have two different programs we have mobile development and we have web development so if you have experience in web development, it might be fun to try a mobile camp because you will be introduced to something completely new, completely different. I promise to Swift and web dev is a whole different ball game. So you'll definitely learn a lot and, and vice versa. You'll learn a lot about web dev if you've never done web dev before. And if you have coding experience in general, these camps are really tailored to making a product in whatever environment you're working in, whether that be web dev or mobile. So if you have a lot of Python experience or Java experience or C++ or whatever, you will still come out of the camp with a lot of applicable knowledge because web dev and mobile development are their own completely different ball games. So definitely still apply. If you even have a little experience in coding, there's definitely a lot more for you to learn. That kind of segues into a question that I got a bunch, which is, can I apply if I have no coding experience at all? And the answer is absolutely 100% yes, yes, yes. This program is perfect for people who have never coded once in their life. And I think 
there are so many people that apply and end up joining the program that are in that boat and there's a reason why we have so many instructors and IAs in each classroom. It's because they're there to help you and whatever questions you might have, they're there to answer for you. So you won't feel behind at all or or like you don't know enough at all if you have no experience. And most people come from that boat. So it's really okay if you have no experience at all. Definitely, definitely, definitely apply. So the next question I have is what do judges look for in applications? While I don't know the full recipe, I know that creativity and passion is something that's really important to Code with Glossy. Connect your interest to learn computer science with whatever passions you find yourself interested in in your daily lives. So whether that be sustainability or fashion or social justice, like I always talk about, let that show in your application. Code with Classy loves to see the integration of a lot of different things with computer science. And that's what really makes a great coder, a great innovator. So having that creativity and passion shine through is always important in anything that you do, especially in your classy application. <laughs> there were a few questions from people that have either aged out of Code with Classy or just are not able to apply for whatever reason. And they wanna know how to get involved in the community experience. And to that I say, check out tech setters there are so many different ways that you can learn about the things about community and inventing and innovation and career that we learn in camps that you can learn through the podcast so tech setters is a really accessible way to learn those aspects of the code with classy community outside of code with classy camps so i would definitely check out the podcast it's amazing and there are so many industry guests on the podcast that really reflect the types of talks that we have inside of code with classy camps regardless so that's a great way to access some more information Kind of on a similar vein, someone asks if there's a way college students can get involved with Code with Classy. And although the IA applications have already closed this year, I think, I'm not really sure. Usually that's a great way to get tapped into the Code with Classy community. IAs are really people that are well-versed in computer science and well-versed in just fostering community that helps support our instructors in camps. Someone asked a really great question, is it expensive? I'm happy to announce that Code with Classy has been and always will be as far as I know, free, absolutely free, especially with the challenges that have come with COVID-19. The team and the community is really eager to get everyone set up with technology and resources so that there are no bars to entry to be a part of Code with Classy and join our community. Another great question is what do you leave the program with? And I can tell you, you leave the program with a fully functioning product that you coded yourself, whether that be an app or a website. And it usually is geared towards solving a real problem within society. You're creating a solution to something you're passionate about solving, which is really amazing. In that same vein, you leave with skills you can use to create whatever you want in the future. I've applied literally the same principles and foundations that I learned in Code with Glossy to everything I developed today, which has been a lot. <laughs> so that is really just an amazing skill to have. But beyond that, you leave with so many connections. There are phenomenal guests that come to speak at Code with Glossy camps. Last summer, the kind of amazing thing about virtual camps is that so many more people are available and we got to talk to Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> you leave with not only friendship, but a community. I have so many close friends from my original camps that I still hang out with when we're all in New York together and we're still so close. But beyond that, there's like an entire community of Code with Classy Scholars you are now sort of a part of. And my closest friends in the Code with Classy community aren't even people here from New York. They're 
people from St. Louis, California, Detroit, like people from across the country because you just start to connect online over group chats and you just have a network of people that are there to support you and people you can always fall back on to ask questions and lean on and it is about learning and education it is about networking and resources but it also is about friendship and community which is so cliche and lame but i literally can't explain it any other way it's it's so cool <laughs> it genuinely is really cool <laughs> the last question that i got that was amazing is who are some of my code with classy sisters that inspire me ah savannah <laughs> um savannah grasmick is also one of my absolute best friends in, on the entire planet okay alexis i'm watching a youtube video i help her with her computer science sometimes she helps me with figuring out whatever the hell i'm gonna do with my entire life okay well it takes you some time before you want to like actually talk about something like you won't talk about it like when it happens only in like months after it happens like you know you know what i'm talking about she's one of the people that like shows the power of kind of community and that is just what the power of code of classy is it's making someone that lives across the country from you your number one person in the entire world because it's just a group of the most badass women in america and now internationally apply to code with classy if you have any more questions or want to talk to me about my experience feel free to dm me on instagram i will try to answer as many people as i possibly can um but yeah i'm really excited applications are open codewithclassy.com slash apply me and carly pitching code of classy a couple years ago i look so disgusting come and join code of classy 